Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some more matchday simulations here in the English Premier League. We have some Monday night football with Sheffield United going up against Everton. Sheffield United are within touching distance of that Europa League position so they'll have more incentive to win this than Everton. Sheffield United have won two of their last three matches, losing one, whereas Everton have drawn two and lost one. So for this match I'm going with a 2-1 Sheffield United win. Let's see what FIFA thinks. Welcome to Bramwell Lane where Sheffield United will be hoping to get a victory over Everton and move closer to that Europa League position that they're hoping to finish in. Everton on the other hand, if they win they can go ahead of Southampton and move into 11th position. But with their current form they haven't shown the greatest form and I just think Sheffield United are going to edge this. They did have that loss against Leicester but they beat Wolves and they beat Chelsea recently, so I think they're going to go ahead in this one and win a 2-1. In this Everton team, they're moving in the right direction under Carlo and Ancelotti, and I think we'll see good results next year and a clearer picture of what they're trying to achieve. Sheffield, on the other hand, since Project Restart, they came back, they had a little bit of a bumpy run, but they seem to have found that form again, which saw them being so formidable in the first half of the season. We have Everton here with the free kick or corner kick. Sigurdsson. That's a poor ball by Sigurdsson. He's usually way better than that on the ball. Goes out here. Sidibe ended up taking it out for Sheffield throwing. So let's see what they can work from this middle of the field position. Stevens. Norwood, Berger, McBurney, Berger, Berger still, Baldock, back to Berger, back to Baldock I mean, <laughs> Berger, good ball here McBurney, Berger, working it on the edge of the box, just couldn't get it through to McBurney again. Gomez clears it here for another Sheffield United throwing in a better position than the last one. Maybe they can work something from here. Bulldog to Berder, Berger. Not Berder. He gives away possession. Richarlson now. Gomez. Back to Richarlson. Iwobi. Calvert-Lewin. Gomez now. Iwobi, Richarlson, Iwobi dribbles past here, still with Iwobi, puts a decent ball in, it's fallen to the feet here, Sigurdsson couldn't put it in the back of the net, falls kindly to him here, he hits it with the open foot trying to place it into the back of the net, should he have gone with power there? He tried to place it and as was his corner kick, it was off target. Norwood. Berger here. Norwood. McBurney. Good ball through Berger. Poor shot there. That was a limp effort there by Berger. The thing for, for Sheffield is, they, is that are they going to be able to maintain this dominance that they've shown this season into next season we've seen it happen with Leicester they won the title and then the following season was just dreadful we've seen teams finish in the top eight and then they just burn out and end up getting relegated so can Sheffield United maintain this sort of style that they've been playing it's been a beautiful style to watch at times Gomez loses possession and it's now Berger, McBurney back to Berger, McBurney here, Sharp, spreads it here for Baldock, will Baldock be able to get it back into the box, he overruns it, 
tries to cut it back and goes out. It's now with the Wobi Holgate thing there. Gomez Sigurdsson who had that sitting opportunity there. He really did miss his sitter. Unlike him, he's usually quite clinical in front of goal with opportunities like that. Gomez, Richarlson, Sigurdsson, Richarlson. Back to Sigurdsson. Spreads it here for Iwobi. Dinger. Dinger runs it out. Seems to be a trend in this match. Players running the ball out when they don't really need to do that. Baldock. Berger. Norwood puts it forward here for McBurney. Back to Norwood. Fleck. Sharp. Berger. McBurney spreads it here for Stevens. Berger back to Stevens. Can he get something into the box here? Stevens. Oh, and it's cleared for a throne instead of a corner. Good work there by Walcott. I'm doing his defensive job. This time the ball comes in, but that's way too deep for any of the Sheffield United players to attack. And it's Iwobi breaking away now. Berger doing good there to cover the ground. Block off that avenue for Iwobi. Spread here to Sidibi. He flicks it up for Walcott. Mm. He's got a lot of players in support, but can they do something here? Nope. Sigurdsson with a misplaced pass. It's not been his sort of match. He's usually much better than that. Norwood spreads it here for Baldock. Good ball. Tries to flick it up and over Ding there, but he's up to it. He will be now. Ford here for Gomez. Richardson just couldn't get to it. Calvert Lewin. Walcott went the wrong way. Should have went through to Calvert-Lewin there. Richarlson, Calvert-Lewin! That was the best worked move so far in this match. Gomez, Sidibi, back to Gomez. Calvert-Lewin, Sidibi. Can any of them get it into the box here? Referee's surely going to blow the whistle, and he does. And the first half has ended. Sheffield United 0, Everton 0. Back here for the second half, where Everton had the biggest chance in the first half. Sigurdsson had the ball dropped to him perfectly, but he just wasn't able to place it in the back of the net. We start off here with Sharp getting a soft yellow card for... For that? I mean, he got in front of the man, so technically it was Gomez fouling him. But anyway. So it starts off with Everton with a free kick. They did have slightly more possession in the first half, so... That most likely will continue into the second half. Sharp spreads it here for Stevens. Fleck. Stevens. Back to O'Connell. Fleck. Berger. Berger also had a chance to get a good shot on goal in the first half, but he didn't manage. Sharp. Sharp came close there. Pickford up to the task and he manages to get ahead of Sharp there and close off that opportunity. Sigurdsson. Good through ball here for Walcott. Can he find the man in the box? He cuts it back. Sigurdsson. Goes out for a goal kick. Just hasn't been Sigurdsson's day today. He hasn't been playing the football that we are used to him playing. He's usually so good on the ball. Hence why he got that big money move to Everton. Big, big money. Richarlson. Calvert-Lewin there. Sigurdsson to Gomez. Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin and Sigurdsson sort of got each in, in each other's ways there. So they weren't able to make the most of that. That had way too much on it for McBurney to get. 
And Bernie pops in with the the goals occasionally, but pace is not his forte. Gomez puts it forward here. Dinger, Iwobi, back with Dinger. See a Walcott coming off. Bernard coming on. Some more pace, some more trickery. What can the little Brazilian do? Berger, Fleck here. Sharp. Sharp needed to spread it there. Good run on the wing that wasn't spotted or picked out. Fleck. McBurney back to Fleck. Stevens. Oh, the flex there, kindly for Pickford. He had men in the box to pick out there. Charlson. Gomez goes here to Wobi. Charlson. Sigurdsson spreads it wide here for Bernard. Sigurdsson back to Bernard. Sidibi. Sigurdsson, Bernard, Bernard spreads it into midfield with Gomez, a lot of possession being held here by this Everton team, Calvert-Lewin, Richarlson tries to get through to Sigurdsson but he wasn't able to and it's now Norwood breaking away for Sheffield, can the blades cut through this defence, held back here, that should be a yellow, and it is. Gomez. Gomez was just holding the man. Professional foul, professional yellow. Sharp coming off. Lis Mousset coming on. He's popped in with a few goals recently. Not a bad substitution to bring on. He might even start. Norwood puts the ball in. Did that come off for Everton head? Yes, it did. And it's a corner kick here for Sheffield United. 15 minutes left to play. Can either of the team get that goal to get them the victory? This is starting to seem like a one goal sort of match. Something special is needed. Norwood to put the ball in. Finds the man. Man heads it wide. Manager is very upset about that. Let's watch that again. He was free to head it. Should he have kept it down? I mean, to test the goalkeeper from that distance with the header is a bit of a difficult skill, but he had the power on it. He just didn't have the placement. Fleck. Mousset. Egan. Egan should not be so far forward. Stevens, Fleck. Are they going all out for this Burgo? Mousset. Mousset goes all the way back and it's stolen there. Off his feet. The back pass. Norwood. Back to Baldock. Burger. McBurney. McBurney fires it in. He gets that special goal I was talking about. And it gives Sheffield United the win. Surely that should be enough to take this victory. Well worth play there. Was snatched off the wing by Wobi, But they managed to win it back and pass it forward. Berger, who's been influential, passes it to McBurney. And he shoots a rocket into the back of the net. He took no chances there with placement. Just put his laces through it. And boom. Hits the back of the net. McBurney popping in with that vital goal yet again. Can Sheffield do it? Can they get that Europa League position? Good taken goal. And we're off here again with Everton now having to come back into it with less than 10 minutes to go. Gomez to Mina. Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson would now be ruining that missed opportunity. Iwobi. Gomez. Iwobi. Forward to Richardson, Calvert-Lewin. Bit of a nothing ball forward there. Henderson gets that. Henderson, who could be Man United's number one after 
De Gea's recent performances, more and more mistakes creeping into his game, but that's a conversation for another day. Mina, Sidibi, Gomez, Sigurdsson, Baldock, Basham, Berger, oh, a bit of a crazy ball there, straight into the stands. Berger coming off, that great assist, Lundstrom coming on. It was a good performance, he had that opportunity to hit the target, but it was a bit of a limp effort. Dinger, Iwobi, Gomez, Sigurdsson. Defense should clear this, and they do. Offside. Calvert Lewin. Ooh, that's a close one. Bad. Offside is offside, guys. Henderson gets us going here. Last minute of extra time. Surely this is the last play. Ooh, good ball forward here for Musset. Still Musset. Tries to dribble past. Goes out for a corner kick. Can they add insult to injury here? Score another goal to make sure that Everton know they were well and truly beaten, even though they held more possession, I feel. Oh, he's taking his time to take the corner. Norwood here. Norwood with the ball in. Couldn't find the man. Can they get it back into the box? And that's it for the match. It has ended Sheffield United 1, Everton 0. So this match has ended with the result I thought would happen. FIFA agrees with me, Sheffield United coming out victors. I think Everton do have a goal in them and Sheffield United do have more than one goal in them. So I'm sure it's going to be a 2-1 victory. But let's see how the actual match plays out. We also had another simulation at the same time. So if you want to check out that video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And go check my video feed for that one. I do all the match day simulations in the English Premier League, FA Cup. And I will be doing the Europa League and Champions League next month when that comes. So until next time, peace.